Hey there, welcome to another video in this series. We are attempting this question on a special request from Ms. Chandni Shinde. This is question number 8 from year 2018 patent agent exam. Before we get started, please pause the video, go through the disclosure and come back. Welcome back. Based on the reading of the disclosure, we know that this invention relates to a garden sprinkler hose. More specifically, they have provided with a construction of the hose for meeting an objective of the invention. Let's get started with the first requirement that is to identify the title. The first line of the disclosure provides us with the title that is a garden sprinkler hose. This is your title. Moving to our next requirement that is to provide a few claims. We know that our invention is about construction of a garden sprinkler which makes it unique from the existing sprinklers. So from the reading of this particular paragraph just before they start with figure 1, we get to know that the invention is about a first wall, a second wall and third wall which gives out the hose that you are looking for. Wherein the first wall has some property, second wall has some property and the third wall has some property. Together they provide the sprinkler that we are looking for. So our claim 1 should be directed towards the construction details on how these three walls are placed together. Broadly you can start with IV claim a garden sprinkler hose comprising a first wall, a second wall and a third wall. Wherein the third wall is provided with apertures for passage of water out of the hose. But then it doesn't provide any more detail. How is the first wall connected to second? How is the second wall connected to third? And how together they are performing their action? So whenever you have mechanical construction kind of inventions, you should be looking for providing the connection details about these parts. Now when you go down to figure 1, figure 2 and figure 3, you get more detail about the invention. See in this particular figure 1, you can see there is wall 1, wall 2 and wall 3. And how are they connected to get this triangular section that they were talking about? So our claim one should be able to vividly talk about this. So how do we say? So we go back to identify the details that we are looking for. So this particular paragraph gives us the gist of the invention but doesn't provide us the implementation details. We go to figure 1, figure 2 and figure 3 and try to find out the information that we are looking for. So here it says comprises two imperforate relatively firm and thick wall sections 11 and 12. This is our wall 1 and wall 2. And they are configured to provide a base on which the hose may rest when in use. But how is the wall 1 and wall 2 are connected? So here the detail is there are joined together at one of their longitudinal edges to extend at divergent angles. So what have we done so far? Garden sprinkler hose comprising a first wall, a second wall and then we say wherein the first wall and second wall are joined together at one of their longitudinal edges to extend at a divergent angles. We move forward to provide our third component which is the third wall. We say a third wall wherein the other longitudinal edges of the first wall and second wall are joined to the third wall. We stop here, provide another wherein and say wherein the third wall is provided with apertures for passage of water out of the hose. If that was not enough, we can go forward and say wherein the third wall responds to the water pressure in the hose by curving outwardly to varying degrees. This should make your Claim 1. As always, moving to the dependent claims. Now, dependent claims should provide us with more details about our claim 1 elements. The first wall, the second wall, the third wall or anything else that is there. So, first thing that comes to our mind is the shape of the hose that we have come up with. So here we say, wherein the hose construction which is generally triangular in transverse cross section. This could be your first dependent claim. So how do we write? We write like this. The garden sprinkler hose as claimed in claim 1, wherein the hose construction is generally triangular in transverse cross section. 
Another thing that comes to your mind is the first wall and the second wall can be used as a base on which the hose may rest. So how do we write? The garden sprinkler hose as claimed in claim 1 wherein one of the first wall and the second wall serve as a base on which the hose may rest. Now moving on to identifying few more details about the flexible wall. So this particular information responds to the water pressure in the hose by curving outwardly to varying degree could have been part of a dependent claim also but because we want it to ensure that our claim one is substantially detailed in terms of what the inventory feature are we included that in our claim one. So can we look for more information about third wall? See it says here the hose may be made of rubber or any other suitable material which permits automatic curvature of aperture wall in response to water pressure. This could be your another independent claim but we will not write other suitable material because this is indefinite. So how do we write? The garden sprinkler hose as claimed in claim 1 wherein the hose is made up of rubber that permits automatic curvature of the third wall because we have not written aperture wall we have written the third wall. So this gives you a few dependent claims as provided on your right hand side. Let's move to the last requirement which is providing the abstract. Now luckily the first paragraph before we go towards figure 1 provides us with all details that can go into our abstract. How do we write? The invention provides a garden sprinkler hose to deliver water to restricted areas and in selected directions. The garden sprinkler hose construction is generally triangular in cross section wherein two of its three wall sections being relatively firm and thicker than its third wall section which is relatively thin and flexible. Only the flexible wall is provided with apertures for passage of water out of the hose. The invention permits either of the imperforate form relatively thick walls to serve as a base on which the hose may rest. While the flexible wall responds to water pressure in the hose by curving outwardly causing the water streams to flow in a predetermined direction to cover lawn and garden areas to a selected extent. One thing that you can be careful while drafting the abstract for this case is to use consistent words. Remember in the claims we had used the first wall, second wall and third wall. But here they keep talking about two of its three walls, the flexible wall. So you should stick to one terminology like first wall, second wall, third wall or what they have provided here. So with this we are done with the title, abstract and a few claims for this use case as well. Until next time, be good and take care. Bye.